So maybe you've got an efflorescence or a salt deposit problem with your own bricks or stone wall, like this one right here. Hi, I'm Jeff with the Repair Tutor, and in this quick video, I'm gonna share with you a specific tip or method that's helped me clean our stone walls and, and get them looking better after being inundated with efflorescence. Now, I'm not a guru, I don't do this full time, but I figured I'd share this video with you and maybe it'll help you out. So let's get started. When cleaning efflorescence, it's always best to use the gentlest method first, and that might actually just be vinegar, because vinegar is only about 6% acidity. Now, if that doesn't work for you, I highly recommend muriatic acid. Now, <laughs> muriatic acid, you need to have safety goggles, safety clothing, and rubber gloves. Otherwise, you could burn yourself. And always add acid to water. Now, I'm mixing up about 12 ounces to one gallon of water, and I'm gonna stir it using a wood stirrer. Not metal, but wood or plastic. Now, I highly recommend testing the muriatic acid on your stone wall on a small section first. So pre-soak it with water, then scrub the acid on and let it sit for five to 10 minutes, and then rinse it off with water and check and see how it reacts. As you can see here, my wall is just covered in efflorescence. It looks terrible, and I'm gonna pre-soak it with water like I did in the testron. And by the way, the testron concluded that the muriatic acid wasn't gonna harm my wall. Then I'm gonna use a plastic scrub brush and apply the acid to all the sections that have really bad efflorescence. So you shouldn't have to scrub too much. You just wanna apply the acid and let it fizz. And when it fizzes on the efflorescence, that's when you know that it's a strong enough solution. So once you're done applying the acid, you need to rinse it off real good with water. I took one additional step to neutralize any of the remaining acid that was on the stone wall. And that was to add one half cup of baking soda to one gallon of water and stir it up really well using a wood stir. In fact, I'm just using the same wood stir I used for the acid. And then apply the baking soda solution to the wall with my scrub brush. Again, this is just gonna neutralize any of the remaining muriatic acid. I did have an issue with vertical and horizontal efflorescence in the seams of the stone brick. So I used the edge of a wire brush scraper to remove any of that. And I finally sprayed down the wall really well with water. Now, here is the before. Here's what my wall looked like before. And I only treated in between the two lights. As you can see, the results are really great. It took multiple individual applications of the acid, but I'm very happy with the results. All right, so this is one method that works to remove efflorescence from a stone or a brick wall. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Does it work? Yes, you'll see results. It's just a matter of how much effort you wanna put into it. And the huge thing that you should do, again, I mentioned this at the beginning, but make sure you test the muriatic acid on a section of your wall to make sure that it doesn't ruin the stone or the brick. That's a huge thing that you should do. All right, if you like this video and it helped you out, you can always click the thumbs up button over on YouTube and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're looking for more DIY tips that'll help you around the house. So go ahead and click the subscribe button as well. And you can go to homerepairtutor.com and check out a ton of other home repair projects and cleaning projects that I have done in the past. So. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate your time. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.